Welcome. This video will explain how the APAMI indicator measures price trends with absolutely no lag. If you have not already, please download the APAMI white paper at awarenessforex.com forward slash apami.html. Today I hope to clear up some misconceptions on how exactly the indicator calculates price trends consistently. So first we need to clarify basic concepts the indicator uses when measuring price action. What we're looking at now is a pending move in progress. This basically means the indicator measures the higher highs and lower lows tick by tick to determine the current direction. An up move is measuring an uptrend and a down move measures a downtrend. The horizontal red dashed line is the move start point or start level. The horizontal dashed blue line is the pending move end point or end level. The horizontal yellow dashed line is the move fail level or retracement level. The diagonal dashed lines represent the trend direction. Pending up moves are a diagonal dashed yellow line, while pending down moves are a diagonal dashed red line. The APAMI algorithm measures price action tick by tick from the start point to a predetermined end level known as the move complete. In this example, we're measuring 30 pips. And we enforce the following pass or fail criteria. The market continues to trend upward and the 30 pip target is achieved. Or the market retraces and the retrace level is hit. Let's keep watching and observe what happens to see if the market will continue going up or down. As it turns out, the 30 pip move we were monitoring was a success. Now at this point you could actually enter the market to buy or sell or wait for a new signal depending on the volatility at the time. Being able to measure price action objectively and consistently gives you several advantages which we'll go over later in another video. By the way, this move took over 10 hours to complete. The length of time it takes for a move to complete can vary between 1 second and 10 hours. The three primary factors are number one, volatility, depending on how uh, fast the market is moving. Number two, the length of the trend. A 30 pip move will calculate quicker than a 100 pip move. And number three, precision. We'll go over that in another video. The best way to see how the indicator works is to just observe moves over and over again. So let's look at a few more examples. The magenta lines on the bars represent failed moves. We discussed earlier the retracement level or the fail line. Well, failed moves mean that uh, the market retraced back to the failure line. There could be thousands of failed moves before a good move emerges. Now let's observe how a move failure actually works in real time. Now would be a good time to point out that up moves and down moves are calculated independently from each other. So you can see here that a pending up move has already begun measuring itself even though the down move has not yet completed or failed. You can see now that the pending down move has failed and the colored dashed line turned from red to magenta. And that pending up move we talked about earlier is now in focus. So we do the same thing. We watch the up move and see if it will pass or fail with the same criteria. As it turned out, the up move did complete. In this case, it was a 20 pip move. But this happens over and over again while the market is open. 
Well, anyway, in the next video, we will cover more about the advantages of using clearly defined price trends when trading financial markets. The indicator is available for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, so just download it and put it on a chart and see for yourself how it works. Thanks for watching the presentation, and we'll see you on the next video.